What's up guys? Tony Rican here and as I've been saying fall is here. That means it's time to switch up our recipes a little bit and I'm gonna make a dinner perfect for fall that you're gonna love. I'm gonna make a cheeseburger pot pie and you know exactly what this is don't you? That's right. This is awesome. So let's just go and get started and jump right into this one. Not only is this dinner awesome, it's like everything else I make. Really easy. I'm gonna start by going ahead and dicing up some garlic and some onion. Once that's diced up, I'm gonna take that and my ground beef and throw up my pan and start browning that ground beef up. Now, once that beef's all broken up and browned, I'm gonna start making my sauce that's gonna go in here. I'm gonna take my beef broth, barbecue sauce, some ketchup, and then cornstarch and mix that all together. Once mixed together, I went ahead and I poured that into my meat. I'm gonna bring it to a boil and let it simmer for about five to 10 minutes so it can thicken up nicely. Now I totally forgot to say it, but you saw me put in my chopped potatoes and let those cook with that meat. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and take some uh, shredded cheese, put that over the meat, I'm doing great today. I totally forgot to tell you, I moved that out of my cooking skillet into a nice 10 inch skillet. Um, you could put this into a pie tin if you want. I'm just using the skillet because that's what I like. So I've gone ahead, I've spread the cheese over that, and now I'm gonna prep my uh, topping for this. For that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one cup of Bisquick, take some milk, an egg, and some shredded cheese and mix this all together. I'm gonna go ahead and spoon this over everything. And now I've been preheating my oven to 375 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in there for about 25, 30 minutes until this uh, Bisquick is cooked all the way through and it's a nice golden brown. And that's it guys, this one is done. Just take a look at how it came out. It looks awesome. I also went ahead, threw some sesame seeds on there just to give it that burger bun look. But you know, I can't just keep looking at this one. I gotta go ahead, dig in, and just give this one a try. This is freaking awesome. You guys are gonna love this one. So go ahead and like the video, share the video, comment down below if you need complete step-by-step Printable instructions, check out AverageGuyGourmet.com. Uh, check out my Patreon. Consider subscribing for even $1 to help all this material to keep on coming out. Subscribe to my channel, give this one a try, and we'll see you guys next time.